Hey, what's up, guys? And here's another YouTube video. I know it's been a very long time since I made a video. Actually, it's been three or four weeks. I've been inactive for this long amount of time. I don't think I've been this active for a while now. But um, I'm sorry. I have to apologize for the uh, like the delay or whatever. I've had a lot of things going on right now, especially since school's about to end and um, summer's about to kick in, and I've got a vacation and thing. And there's gonna be a lot of things going on. But I will have some videos going up for my vacation. Um, so look at looking. You should look forward to that. It's gonna be pretty cool. But um, I haven't been uploading as many videos lately because I have a lot of things going on, and um, I'm probably gonna, not gonna be uploading as many videos now. It's gonna be around one or two videos every two weeks, so probably around a video a week, basically because of I, I mean I just have just happen to have the time enough to um, ed actually make a video and edit it and everything um, tonight because I actually have a free night tonight. So. Um, but I will be uploading videos whenever I can. I also did a, get a new um, camera, so I'll be able to upload videos now um, in 240 frames per second, and I'll also be able to record in 4K. I'm not sure if I'm going to be uploading 4K videos because a lot of you people, like a lot of monitors not right now, a lot of people's monitors don't actually support 4K yet. So I'm not sure about that yet, but um, basically that's what's coming up in the future. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these awesome photo editing uh different things you can do with Photoshop. I was going to actually do a photo edit, like a Photoshop edit for you guys and just, uh, you know, you can get some different ideas or whatever. But in this video, basically, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make an apple have a lion's mouth. No, I'm just kidding. It's going to look something pretty cool, though. So, um, basically, I'm not sure what exactly to call this. It's just messing around on Photoshop. Like you guys, those of you that mess around on Photoshop, thought this might be pretty cool, might give you a few ideas. But, um, so basically what I do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on Google Images and I'm going to look up an apple, right? Um, and let's find one that looks pretty realistic here. So, um, let's see here. Something that's actually wanted in HD. So let's go to search tools, more, to no, size, and let's do large. Large file size. Okay, so these are HD. Um, and I want a transparent background. So transparent background. Now let's see what we got here. Uh, some of these. Let's find us a good one here. Hold on. Mm, let's take off. I'll just put any size. Doesn't really matter too much since we're on. And I want the fruit. And I don't. Maybe that'll help me. Take out some of these um, Apple logos and stuff. I guess this one will do. It honestly doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to find one that looks really good. Uh, and doesn't have like trademark stuff all over it. Um, I guess this one's not too bad. If it's not a transparent background, I'm going to have to... Uh, is that as low as it goes? It's a high quality picture, it's just not loading apparently. Doesn't want to render. Alright, um. Let's find us a different one here. I want to find a pretty good. I'm just going to look up Apple. I mean. <laughs> how hard is it for a. For it to find us a. Okay, you know what? We'll just use this one right here. See, that one's fine. Whatever. Alright, save image. We're going to put this on our desktop. And let's just save it as Apple. So, click Apple. Save. Okay. Now I want to go back. We want to look up lion yawning. Now you can do any kind of lion. You can do a lion. You can do something. Just something that looks pretty cool, like a vicious mouth or whatever. All right. So already I found some pretty good ones here. I want one some from the side, especially from the right or from the left side. And so this works perfectly. All right. So I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna click Save Image as. I'm gonna click yawning. It doesn't really matter. All right, I click save, and it's saved. Okay, now we're basically we're done with Photoshop or with uh, that with Google. So now we're open. We have our Photoshop open, right? Now you want to click on file. You want to click on open. You want to click on desktop. Okay, so we want to select our Apple, right? And then we also want to click open, and we want to select the yawning, the uh, lion. So now let's go back over to our Apple. And let's get this, uh, let's click on file, let's click on new. Um, we want it, I guess we can keep it that. We want the background to be transparent. And then, 
Do we want? Yeah, we want it to be transparent. All right. Now click. No. Should we? Should we have it as transparent? Yeah. Let's keep it transparent. All right. So now I click OK, and it's going to create another um, file here. Okay. So now we want to click. We want to drag our app. Uh, it'll go back into here. We want to drag our apple onto. Well, this is our yawning video. I want my apple to be over here. So I'm gonna drag my apple onto here. So now we got our apple in the transparent picture. Now we wanna go to our quick selection. Click on the plus sign, select the apple. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And let's select the entire apple here. And let's select the uh, stem. <laughs> um, we can always uh, like erase the little bits. I don't wanna keep the shadow, so let's get the shadow here. There's some little bits and pieces we don't want, so I'm gonna like trim that up a little bit. I guess we could always feather it or whatever. Um, so okay, that seems pretty good. All right, now you want to minimize or you want to zoom out a little bit. Now I'm gonna press Control J, and I'm gonna delete the layer before that. So now we've just got our apple, we've got rid in the background, okay? Um, but we still got that black part there. We might actually might just take out the. Uh, let's take out the the. Um, Undo state change. No. Nope. Redo state change. Step backward. Okay, so now we've just got it selected again. I'm going to go back to this and I want to take out the shadow. It's not really, it's going to mess with the whole transparent effect thing. I just want the actual apple. So let's just select, deselect all the uh, shadow and the black parts around there. So, got that part. Okay, now let's get our apple here. Okay, and let's see what this looks like. Control J, take this off. Let's, minimize, let's pull it out a little bit. Okay, so that, that'll do. Alright, so let's just go ahead and delete the uh, layer before that. Alright, so now we can work on our line here. Okay, so let's pull our line out. And let's put him on the page here. And we just want to select the mouth part, right? So I'm going to get the quick selection tool again. And I just want to select the mouth. So let's get every part of the mouth here. We can always, um, especially the teeth, we can always um, fix what we want later on. So let's go ahead and select all of that. And then let's uh, deselect this little part around here, especially I don't want all this hair and all that stuff. Um, let's select that part right there. I might have to zoom in a little bit more here. I don't know if it'll catch up. There it goes. Okay. Um. Uh, we select that little part in there. Little bits and pieces. We can always, you know, like I said earlier, we can always um change what we have selected. All right. So let's deselect this little part right here. Just you know, getting the little bits and pieces we don't actually have to have. Um. Like all I want's the mouth. Oops. Got the wrong one. All right. Um, okay, so that pretty much gets it. I'm going to select the little bits and pieces there. Alright, so, and that little bit's there. Sorry, I'm a little picky on everything. Okay, now I can press Control J here, and let's see what it looks like without it. So, okay, so that's the mouth there, right? Alright, now we want to, um, this is where it's going to get cool. Alright, so we select this, now we want to press Control T, and we want to press Hold and Shift so it doesn't warp, or doesn't change the, um, like how it looks in general. And we want to bring it top on top above the apple. Oh, let me get out of it. And then we drag it above the apple on the layers. Okay, now we can pull it over. Control T, Shift, and let's make it the side. Let's trans. Let's tilt it a little bit here, and no, a little bit lower. Okay, so something like that maybe. It's gonna be a vicious looking apple. Okay, so yeah. Okay, that looks fine. I'm gonna press enter. So now we've got our apple here, right? Actually, you know what? It looks like there's a shiny part there. Let's um control T and let's flip it horizontally. So now it's on the other side. So now we can press let's shift this some more right here and bring it out so where it's not all up on the side of it. Okay, that looks way better. Alright, so now I can um actually mess let's make it a little bit so it's even there. Alright, cool. So now we're done with the um, apple part. 
Now we can, or the lion part. Now we can um, go back to the apple part. And let's zoom in. And we want to erase just the part that is, um, that's like surrounded by the, I, don't, I have the tooth on, don't I? Actually, it wouldn't matter because the tooth's not selected. So I can just erase along here and it not matter because the uh, lion's mouth is in the way. And it won't show. So we erased all that part right there. And now I've got this vicious looking uh, apple here that has the lion's mouth, right? Okay, so let's go and delete that layer here. We just have this layer now. And I want to erase the parts that aren't part of what I want. So we'll leave a little bit of the border of the mouth and stuff. But the majority of it, we want to, like the border of it, we want to kick out. So um, let's erase that part around there, that part there. Minim or, and let's zoom it out a little bit. So now we've got this vicious looking apple here that has a lion's mouth. Um, I guess we could actually make this a little more, um, I guess, even. It's not, um, that's a little too much. All right. Um, let's just zoom it, or let's erase it here. I'm using the paintbrush. We're going to have to erase part of the apple too. So let's go back to the apple. Erase some more of the apple. Okay, now I'm back over to this. And I can erase here. Here a little more. Here a little more. Here. Okay. So now it's pretty and a little bit in there. Okay, so now pretty much got this pretty cool looking apple here. I don't know, this is pretty cool. I don't know if, if you if some of you guys use um Photoshop and stuff out there. You can do all kinds of stuff like this where you can combine photos and make um I guess peaceful looking objects or any kind of objects that I don't have a life appearance have life by doing like edits like this. I'm not I think this is called photo manipulation or something like that. I don't know, I've seen um YouTube videos where people kind of do the same thing. They uh like change things, make things look like they have appearances that would never be possible like this right here. But um yeah, this is kind of it. This is the tour for this video. I'm probably going to name it some fancy name so people understand what I'm doing here. <laughs> but um that's what I'm doing this video guys. If you use Photoshop and you like this video and you thought it's pretty cool how this uh Make an apple and have a lion's mouth. Um, be sure to th leave a thumbs up. Let's see if we can reach 50 likes this time. Since I'm at 30,000 subscribers now, let's see if we can get 50 likes at the least. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I want to apologize for the whole how I haven't been making uploading videos recently, but um, I will be catching back up into schedule very shortly. So um, there's no, there's nothing going on wrong there. I've just had a busy schedule. I'm not quitting YouTube or anything like that. I've just had a busy schedule, but um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Be sure to leave a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below if you have any YouTube ideas you'd like for me to do, um, or any comments you have. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe um, for more YouTube videos, and uh, thanks, and I'll <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,